keep it secret, to different bills Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat You keep the medals cause the real ones coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today I'm gonna show you the best jump shot for beginners, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's liking up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your noti game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. Now, I do know some of y'all just coming just for the jump shot, so all I'm gonna do is right now is this. I'm gonna show you exactly what the jump shot is. All I ask is please, 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 for not wasting your time, drop a like okay that's all i'm asking drop a like if i am not wasting your time you just want to see the jump shot the jump shot is going to be base clyde drexler release one chris mullen release two jr smith as you see it requires an 86 of the 85 overall jump shot but what i will say is this that you can change the sliders around but again when you're talking about for beginners a lot of you will have a higher release anyway you this does require you to be between six five to six seven but I will go ahead and drop bases for shorter um, players or taller if you need be. But this is going to be a very solid one. Now, again, the blend will be 100% speed, 64 Chris Mullen, 36% J.R. Smith. Now, the question I ask is why would this be good for beginners? Well, as you can see from the release, the cue is so easy. Once it gets up to your eye, you just let go. It's not the fastest. Speed is A-. And remember, just because it say A- doesn't mean... Some A minuses, all A minuses aren't built the same, okay? So this A minus is more on the slower side. This is more of a slower shot, but the big one is defense immunity is an A plus. And again, the A plus defense immunity it just basically means that you are less, um, you are more immune to shooting contested shots and those not being as effective. I mean, and that shot not being as affected as other one, other jump shots that have lower defense immunity, like a C or D. So for me, release speed, release height, and defense immunity is all ones that I try to make sure I have a decent amount. But this is what we're actually looking at here for this jump shot. So again, if I didn't waste your time and you, this is all you wanted to see, please just make sure you drop a like. And if for all my nephews and nieces that just wanna actually see it live in some gameplay, I got you, okay? So what we're gonna do real quick is I wanna go over the badges, let you know the badges that I'm gonna be utilizing. Nothing's changed here, I'm on my lockdown. So Claymore, I have Claymore, Catch and Shoot, Green Machine, Blinders, and Limitless Range, right? That is just kind of, for any type of spot up, I think that's just kind of normal, right? Like you expect something of this nature for a spot up type build. But you can also use this obviously as a primary ball handler if need be. Now the attributes as you're going to see, I do have an 86 mid range with uh, 85 three ball. This is my pure lock as you can tell. It's it's pretty toxic. I love this build a lot. I run with it a lot when it comes to like in the stage, a pro am, and that type of deal. Anything competitive, we want to do something competitive. Even though I have a tons and tons of replica builds, yes, I do have a, just three like really good meta build so i could like cook up i have a center i have a guard and i have a lockdown just in case you know we need something comp okay but anyway this is what we're looking at here um the badges i don't have no you know shooting badges anything like that but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you gameplay from the actual wreck i felt like that was just something that's really good because the wreck has so many people flying around you that it's really hard to try to get shots off and i just want you to see how it is from the side from the front and that type of deal so anyway six, sit back relax grab a big bag of popcorn and i'll be back in about three seconds all right so as you can see right here we got some red clips um the first one you're gonna see is actually pretty decent amount of contest and i want to show that as he creeps up and again this could be my silver blinders but as you see right here easy quick release as you can see it's perfect bend of the elbow right there at the ear it's an easy shot and then again as you're gonna see right here easy easy wide open shot again right at the ear once you get up just go ahead and release it man like i it's to me, it's cut and dry. It's not a very high jump shot. You're not jumping high in the air. It's not no funky quick release at the top. It's very easy to see. As you can see right here, this is even slower. Look at that. Like right there in the front, elbow tucked, green. Like it's to me, it's a very good jump shot. Very simple up and down release. But you let me know what you think in the comment section. Again, perfectly right there at the top of the head. Look at you hold the ball up top high. Like I just think it's beautiful. I don't know what else to say about it. And then again, I had to show like me just dribbling. I don't to catch and shoot to stop. They leave me wide open. So I'm saying, all right, whatever. I'm going to go ahead. And that's what it looks like from the top. 
easy up and down barbecue chicken can't ask for anything better than that right all right and then last but not least i want to go ahead and show you what it looks like here in the gatorade just something uh more live and, and not just clips and as you can see right here man i'm just gonna go over here to let's go over here to the side again man once the ball gets to the top of your head and get make sure i'm behind a three-point line it's so hard to get time back here all right at top of the head once it gets right there to the top of your head just release like i, I don't i mean <laughs> it's about as simple as it comes um i don't know where else to go about it i, I could try to you know go a little bit late and see how that goes never mind i still went in so um you know i feel like sometimes i do hold it longer and it still goes it because it's not like i said it's not the fastest release of all time but it's still fast enough right this is how it is like so when you get it to the top of your head man just let go easy money barbecue chicken um i don't know i can't I, look at that man i mean like you can't ask for a better looking shot there we go and i finally missed one right but you can't ask for a better looking shot it, to me it looks beautiful this is a little bit further back see how that look that's still green um um i don't know if i have uh limitless on right now but god that shot look good man well i mean like to me like i said man i'm not sure listen i i'll be finding these jumpers man like it's crazy it's crazy to, to see these jumpers um there we go i got one late to say it looked like it was a little different at the top of the key but um but yeah man like this this to me i feel like this is the best jump shot that you can get um again it's when it comes to a catch and shoot definitely as you see right now i'm moving around i'm not even using my catch and shoot um i don't even know how it will look when it comes to like fading and all that type stuff but i don't have um i don't have normal on so i usually fade i use normal but i don't know what fade this one is but um fading should be the same as you see right there that's how the fade look oh this actually is normal right but it's just a little different release for me when it comes to the, the gatorade facility gay facility ain't the best <laughs> i ain't gonna cap but um but yeah, so let me know what y'all think in the comment section, all right? There we go. I finally got one. And I don't even think I have Agent 3s or Limits on. But let me know in the comment section what do you think about this um, jump shot. Also, I'll be curious to know about what jump shots you're currently using. Again, as you can see, that looks beautiful. And then again, if you want me to have a jump shot or you want me to bring out a jump shot that is actually good for smaller guards. I don't have any ball handling, so I can't do that. For smaller guards, let me know um, if you're looking for um, or bigger guard or someone that's like 6'10", 7 feet or whatever like that let me know i know this one here is more of a high you have to have a higher three ball um at 85 so maybe that might be something that could deter people they don't have that high of a three ball but if you do check this one out but yeah let me know in the comment section what you think about that which the tall short i do it all man i want to make sure i wrap up all this stuff before um nba 2k um do what for, for you know before nba 2k 24 comes out i know a lot of y'all might not even be getting a game until um christmas so 2k24 till christmas so if that's the case i definitely want to make sure i have something set up for y'all so when i do get this one y'all can be able to do what y'all want to do but anyway there you have it my nephews and nieces this is your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back again with another banger really really soon and you know when i say be back again with another banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out